Hi, this is Nathan Forage at Nova Store. Uh, we're just going to wait a couple of, couple more minutes. It looks like there's a, a bunch more people joining, and then we'll uh, get on with it. All right, it looks like there's still some more people coming in, but uh, we'll get some of the uh, uh, preamble done real quick while uh, while they're joining. So uh, to, to answer a couple questions up front, uh, this webinar is going to be recorded. It's going to uh, be sent out after the, uh, the webinar is done via email. There's also going to be a couple uh, handouts that I will also uh, uh, discuss during the webinar that, that are gonna be sent out. Um, if you have any questions during the uh, webinar or want me to clarify anything, uh, either me or Bill, uh, who's going to be with me, uh, we're, we have the questions open, so feel free to answer questions as we uh, ask questions as we go. Uh, we'll try to grab them as we as we can, but there'll also be a question and answer at the end of the uh, end of the webinar. So uh, what we're gonna talk about today is how to simplify backup and disaster recovery um, utilizing uh, Nova Backup and uh, Buffalo uh, uh, NAS devices. Uh, I'm going to be one of your speakers, Nathan Forage. I'm uh, the Vice President of Strategic Solutions here at Nova Backup. I've been with Nova Backup for a little over 15 years or so. Uh, I, I'm very technical. I've, I've started in tech support, I've worked uh, in engineering, I uh, now you know, part of the the group that heads, you know, uh, does where the software is going to be going and that type of thing. Um, so if you have any sort of questions about the product, you know, technical things, you know, that's my contact information right there. And I'm, I'm more than happy to get on the phone or answer emails, that type of thing. Uh, with me, I have Bill Rhodes. Bill, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah, thanks, Nate. Uh, my name is Bill Rhodes. I run a channel sales program for Buffalo um, here in North America, which consists of, uh, for our benefit of this discussion, the United States and Canada. Um, and this is a solution that uh, we've put into the market for a little while, but we haven't ever really actually uh, started marketing it. So we're excited to, to, to unveil it to everybody today. Perfect. Thank you, Bill. So uh, what we're going to talk about, uh, so if you, if you don't know Nova Backup already, so Nova Backup Corporation, uh, we have global coverage. We have you know, customers in every you know, country that I can think of. Our main focus is on small businesses, MSPs, and uh, partners. Our U.S. headquarters is in Agora Hills, California. All of our uh, development for this product is uh, U.S.-based. Uh, the support for this product is US based, we have guys, well, we're in California right now. So most of my guys are uh, working from home, you know, since we're, we're kind of still stuck in uh, work from home mode here in California, but uh, uh, it's been going really well for supporting our customers and partners. We are HIPAA certified, uh, that, that 
uh, includes uh, how our cloud is working too, and I'll get into that a little bit more. Uh, one of the things that we also do is we have some uh, very flexible business models depending on what uh, you, your partners need. Uh, we, we can, we, we've skinned the cat a number of different ways on how licensing and, and other things can work depending on what your uh, uh, customer base needs. Uh, what we're going to be talking about primarily is, uh, you know, our backup and disaster recovery uh, solution that we've uh, put together with Buffalo. Uh, some of the the main principles of, you know, simplifying a BDR solution is, you know, first of all, you got to know what you need to know. You know, you need a, a clear documented response plan. You need to know what you need to do if something happens, you know, what happens if ransomware hits, what happens if, you know, a hard drive dies or, you know, the hurricane or fire as it is right now uh, on, on both sides of the, the country. Um, you know, what do you need to do? Who do you need to contact? Um, and, and part of that needs to be prioritizing the critical systems and the data that uh, the, the, the company needs to work. You know, whether that company is, you know, a gas station that just needs to make sure that their POS system is up and running, a doctor's office that uh, needs to make sure that, hey, I can contact all of the people that uh, have appointments today. I need to make sure my data is, you know, accessible and uh, backed up uh, to, to, you know, deal with regulatory compliance, you know, anything in between, you know, it, you know, any small business needs some sort of documented response plan. Um, one of the handouts that we are going to send out uh, via email after this is an example uh, response plan and, and kind of how to start thinking about it and working through it if you don't do that already. Something to also think about when you're when you're going through this uh, uh, response plan and, and what you need to do is you need to make sure that you reduce the complexity of what you're trying to do. You know, um, if I need to deal with three or four different uh, backup solutions in order to recover the data to where I need to be, that gets very complicated very quickly. And, and you need to make sure that you reduce the, the how do you want to say it? the uh, scope of what you need to do in order to bring your systems back up and running to the critical you know systems and data that uh, you need to uh, continue with your business. And when you're choosing the hardware and the software, or you know solution providers or or what have you, you need to make sure that you're choosing solutions that promote business continuity. Make sure that you know this is not going to be a hindrance in order to get things back and up up and running you know what happens when it's not an if it's when you know something happens how how difficult is it to get everything reinstalled or recover from what i need to do um and part of that is uh outsourcing when it makes sense you know uh we have a lot of msps and partners that are utilizing our uh cloud for offsite storage um, some of them choose to do it themselves, which is fine. Uh, our software and solution allows that, but you know, outsource where it makes sense. You know, uh, do, does it make sense to outsource your RMM to be cloud-based or bring it in in-house or uh, deal with uh, other types of solutions um, that that kind of fit into your business continuity plan? Here's kind of a a use case of where this backup and disaster recovery plan uh, really makes sense uh, with this type of solution that we've we've brought brought together. Uh, one of uh, the larger verticals for our partners and MSPs that use both our software and uh, Buffalo's uh, solution in conjunction with us is uh, dental offices of all things. Uh, we have you know more than thirty thousand U.S. dental offices protected by Nova Backup, whether that's just local backup, cloud backup, combination of both, or even uh, uh, some of the BDR solutions that that we're either selling or uh, that a partner has put together for these dental offices. You know, dental offices, uh, that it, it might be just a, you know, a simple dentist with a couple, couple uh, people with there, you know, it's a very small office, but 
you know, there's a lot of data that needs to be protected there. Uh, you know, all those images, all the, the x-rays and everything else, and all of that is protected uh, under HIPAA. So you need to make sure that all of that is taken care of. Um, and it gets very complicated very quickly if you don't have a good plan on what happens when, you know, when they get ransomware, when something happens to their servers, what have you. Uh, and over the last year, we've seen some interesting, uh, you know, cases of, you know, ransomware from, you know, other, you know, MSPs that might be dealing with uh, dentists or other things. Uh, a number of them weren't using our software and, and it was kind of interesting to see how uh, the response plan was and the lack of response plan that some of these uh, MSPs and partners had. So, you know, putting that, that extra effort to make sure you have a good plan and a good solution for something as simple as a dental office uh, really makes it so your, your life's a lot easier when something happens. Uh, I want to go into the Nova Backup and, and Buffalo, I'll, I'll call it BDR solution. It, it, there's, there's a number of flexible options that we can use with, uh, with this solution. So you can do as simple as you know, using a, the Nova Backup solution to a Windows server that's using the NAS just as storage. So using like an iSCSI solution or even just a, a Samba share or, or NFS share for the actual data itself. You can you know, bring your own server, you can bring your own storage, or you can actually use what I'm going to demonstrate in a little bit, uh, the Nova Backup solution with the Buffalo Windows storage server for basically a complete solution that can bring up the virtual machines um, from a disaster on, on that BDR, on that uh, Terra station itself. So, I mean, it, it can be as, as simple as that, or you can bring your own storage server, what have you. And there, there's multiple different recovery options too. So you can recover the entire machine to the same machine, an entirely new system with dissimilar hardware, or what I'll uh, demonstrate in a little bit uh, to a virtual machine that by, in this case is running on Hyper-V. Some of our top features of Nova Backup um, and some of the things that, that people don't really realize that that's included with Nova Backup is, um, you know, pretty much the entire gambit of what you would need in order to uh, back up and recover, I'll call it a, a small business's uh, uh, environment. You know, we, we go into some of these MSPs or partners that are using three or four different uh, backup solutions. They might be using something for local backup, something for image backup, and then something for cloud backup. And, and in all reality, they can use just Nova Backup for all of that and be covered. Yeah, you know, because Nova Backup can do file, you know, file level backup, image level backup, local cloud backup, um, has support for SQL exchange, virtual machines, that's VMware and Hyper-V. And then some of the some of the things that we put into the software itself really help uh, mitigate some of the uh, I'll say more common ransomware things that we've seen out there. You know, uh, a lot of a lot, a lot of ransomware now is actually targeting uh, backup files and backup solutions in order to delete it. You know, get rid of the volume shadow copy copies that might be on the machine. Go after you know the actual backup files themselves. We have some smarts in our software to help mitigate that, along with. Uh, we're, we're adding some more stuff uh, in the near future for that too. With that being said, I wanna uh, give it back over to Bill for a little bit so we can talk about uh, the Buffalo solution. solution. Yeah, um, so I, I, I'll just provide a little bit of background uh, since Novastore has uh, invited Buffalo to this presentation. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Buffalo, we are a Japanese-based uh, organization. Um, our North American headquarters is in Austin, Texas. Um, I, I will say something that is very unique about Buffalo compared to other uh, vendors. Um, we 
are 100% committed to the, the SMB market. Everything that we design and build is, is purpose uh, built and engineered for a small to mid-sized market. There are a number of different organizations that sell to the uh, to the SMB market, and I'm I'm kind of chuckling to myself here because they're going to offer you their mid-market or higher-end products and explain how your customer will really benefit from them uh, spending uh, budgets that they don't really have access to to get into the SMB market. Um, Nate will uh, move us to the next slide here, and we'll start talking about um, uh, really the, the focus of today's presentation, you know, is... Uh, business continuity. There are a number of products that are out there in the market. Um, what we're going to talk about today is not just an on-premise uh, solution and not just a cloud solution, but it's a it's a hybrid solution that includes everything you need with the purchase of a single unit from Buffalo. That, that's uh, the Microsoft licensing, the Nova Store software. Uh, and the ability to bring your own cloud component uh, along with the storage unit from Buffalo. So with that being said, the, the, the different solutions that are out there in the market, uh, almost indefinitely, when we're talking about the smaller, the S of the SMB, your organizations that are five to 25 users, um, the, the options that are out there in the market today are expensive, right? Just like I was mentioning on the previous slide, there's always an option from other vendors for the small uh, business user, but it's typically the option that's not cost, uh, cost effective. Um, some of the uh, different options out there, actually, again, I'd say most of the uh, the ones that we've uh, looked at are restrictive. Uh, you're going to have to live within their ecosystem of products. What we're going to show you is a completely flexible solution here. Uh, it's some pretty exciting if you're familiar with some of the other BDR services out there. Um, uh, the other products can also be very complex, and they're not always completely comprehensive of the entire solution when we talk about the essential building blocks listed below of what uh, uh, makes up a complete business continuity or a BDR solution. Okay, Nate. So today, um, this is our first time. We're excited to actually go to market uh, with uh, an all-in-one hybrid uh, solution that involves um, something that's unique to the market uh, because we are 100% focusing on the true SMB, or I should say the S of the SMB. Again, five to 25 users. Um, we are going to offer something that uh, the solution is completely a finite price, so you can you can come in and purchase it without any recurring fees, any licensing licensing subscriptions. And um, finally, you're gonna have complete flexibility, which is something unique in the BDR space. The majority of the other solutions out there in the market are really aggressively interested in having you uh, get locked into putting your customer's data in their cloud environment. Because once that happens, it makes the uh, decoupling process um, very difficult to achieve. So we've actually allowed you to have a bring your own cloud approach. So basically any Windows supported cloud is going to be able to host your client's data. Um, the solution that we're talking about today is going to be centered around Buffalo's version of Windows based NAS products called Windows Storage Server, specifically targeting uh, a six bay um, desktop version and a 1U rack mount. Um, all of the products uh, that uh, we're talking about are going to come with the Nova Store, Nova Backup software, which is the critical component here. Uh, Buffalo offering a Windows based operating system NAS and Nova Store having not just the backup software, but the uh, ability to uh, spin up a virtual image through Hyper-V uh, off of the, the Buffalo NAS. 
So uh, again, just really key here, you're going to be able to bring your own cloud, which is essential to keeping those prices down for, for your customers um, from the MSP perspective. And this solution completely prioritizes the small uh, business user. Um, you, you will be able to quickly have a break-even uh, point, uh, you know, within comparing to other monthly subscription prices that uh, are being offered by others out there in the market. So we encourage everybody uh, reach out to Buffalo and to Nova Store if you have any questions specific to how would you obtain this? How can you further the discussion? Would you? Uh, like to go beyond the the demonstration that Nate is about to show now. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. So uh, at this point, I will uh, get into the demonstration. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to give you a, a high level view of uh, what you can do with Nova Backup uh, and and how it can work with the Buffalo WSS that Bill was talking about. So let me just get this all set up real quick. All right, so what we see right here is the Nova Backup uh, application itself. This would be the application that you would install on uh, whatever machine that you want to back up and protect. Uh, it has the normal uh, uh, normal backup solution with uh, you know being able to select uh, different trees, you know, file folder type things. It would show SQL Exchange underneath here and virtual machines if you wanted to. Um, and it has the option to go to both uh, local and and cloud devices. And I'll, I'll show you uh, uh, how simple it'd be to add, say, uh, the Buffalo NAS as a device. So you would go into this device view, you would go uh, network device, and then you just put in, you know, Buffalo Air Station. And then whatever the path to that that would be and then whatever username and password you would need in order to go to that path and then it would just show up in this uh in this device here right here for the backup location uh another thing i wanted to show you here is uh how simple the cloud solution uh that's hosted by nova backup is to add so you would simply so it shows i already have a hundred hundred gig of cloud available i would click here and then i would just go go through and register oh, what is this six and then it'll just go ahead and register it and connect up to the cloud storage At which point I can, uh, I'll have a cloud storage location here. Uh, so a Nova backup hosted cloud solution that I can send data directly to. I don't have to uh, send it locally first and then to the cloud, it can go straight to the cloud. Uh, the other big thing and, and why what we're talking about is, is that whole BDR solution. So for that BDR, uh, you wanna create an image of a machine. So in this case, I want to create an image of this machine. And instead of just doing the normal, uh, I'll call it proprietary uh, format, I want to actually just back that up directly to a VHDX. So then I can, it'll go through my, my local machine here and, and show me all the drives and partitions that I could uh, select. And say, in this case, I just want to do this particular uh, uh, drive because the other drive is just you know uh, it, it's not important to me so i would do this then pick my destination in this case it would it would have that buffalo nas if i would if i would have already added that and then i could schedule this to you know say i want to run it daily weekly what have you 
and then I can run it Monday through Friday. Actually, I'm going to go. I don't want it kick off right now. So then it would schedule it and it'll run tonight at 1123 and and do the entire image of this machine as a VHDX. So once that machine is backed up to, in this case, uh, I'm going to, this is the Buffalo WSS machine that I'm remoted into right now. Uh, and that backup that I've done is on this machine. So in this case, it was uh, this this VHDX here that I did a backup of. It's a Windows 2019 machine, uh, UFI based, and uh, you know, say I want to set this up to test that that the actual backup was good, or even set this up so um, I could just have like a one touch turn on uh, if there is, is a disaster. I would go into the Hyper-V Manager here, just create a new virtual machine. I'll call it uh, Jax test server. Choosing generation two. And I'm only going to give this two gig of memory right now because in this case, it's it's a pretty small machine. And this particular uh, WSS has eight gig of RAM. So there's not a whole lot of memory on it, but it's enough to get this machine up and running and, and going. I don't want it to automatically connect to the network because uh, this machine that I'm going to bring up is actually still running on the network. So I don't want to do a conflict there. And instead of creating a virtual disk, I'm actually going to use my virtual disks that I backed up. It'll configure this. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and start this right now. And it'll take a little bit to start. But once this, this virtual machine is configured, as long as it's not like started, uh, every night I could automatically overwrite this particular VHDX as an image. And so I'm, I'm going to have that machine ready to roll in case I need to, need to bring it up you know, right away. Because uh, as long as that, that, that VHDX is the same name as this VM, that's going to be fine. Uh, I'll connect to this and it'll show that Windows is starting right now. Uh, another thing you can do with this, since we're using the native Hyper-V um, to bring this virtual machine up, I can actually configure this that I can uh, replicate this VM. So it'll replicate a non-running VM. So if I'm uh, just already have this set up and ready to roll, and I'm just overriding that uh, VHDX every night, I can set up a, a replication of this machine to go to, in this case, it's another local local server, but this could be another, another Buffalo WSS at another location. You can even set this up to go to Azure or what have you. And I just want to replicate this VHDX. And then say I want to do it every 15 minutes because that you know it, there's not going to be a whole lot of changes on this because it's only going to change once a day. And then I can actually say I want to you know maintain just the latest recovery point, or I can create additional recovery points every 24 hours and keep it for you know um, however however long I want to keep that. And then uh, your initial replication method you can you know, do a seed or you could just, just start it over the network and uh, that would be how that would go. One of the other things, so, so that's the basics of, of the BDR solution of, that would be at the end user's machine, end user's location for that small business. Uh, as you can see here, this machine is already up and running. And I could, you know, log into that and all that stuff. So it's going to log in and do its thing. But what I also wanted to show you is, as a partner or an MSP, uh, if you have multiple locations out there that you have uh, Nova Backup installed onto, you can use our central monitoring console, which is right here, to monitor all those backup jobs. 
So in this case, I have uh, you know a few different uh, machines connected to the central monitoring console, uh, and I can go into I can see the the last backup status for each one of them. I can drill into this and see what that uh, that log that last log was. So it was a small backup, but I can see everything there and where it was backing up to and how much it was. But I can also drill into an overview of um, I can set set things up into groups and different folders if I want to, and uh, show all of those those machines as a high level overview of what's going on there. And this is a free product that that uh, you can download and install at your uh, at your location, uh, or you know let us let us host it for you as part of our MSP uh, platform here at uh, Nova Store. So that's that's all good. Uh, that's the basics of what the, the the software and the BDR solution can really do for you. It's not that complicated once you get it set up, and it's very very hands off for the end user itself. Hi. Right. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go back to uh, here, and uh, there's already some questions that it looks like uh, people are asking about uh, the solution here. So let's let's go through a couple of these. Um, Ah, does CMON, so the, the central monitoring that I just showed you, require a local IIS server? Uh, yes, it does require, require a local IIS server um, to host that uh, as part of the, you know, so you could host it yourself on, on a server, you know, locally at, at, uh, at your location on an IIS server or even up in Azure or uh, AWS if you want to, or if you're part of our MSP program here at here at Nova Store, uh, we actually host it for you and uh, and show you and, and basically maintain that for you. Uh, version updates for the Nova Store software. Uh, so if you have the the uh, Nova Backup software, and uh, so the current version of the software is 19.5. Typically, what we do is if you purchase a, a perpetual model or uh, use the free software that comes with uh, the Buffalo Terra stations, for instance, you're going to get all of the 19.5 updates and and typically the 19x uh, in, in general. So like all, all the minor updates would be included with that. If you're part of our uh, Nova Backup MSP program, you get free updates and free support. You know, it, it's all included with that. Uh, ooh, here's a tough question for you, Bill. Uh, can more memory be added to the WSS machine? Yep. Um, so the present answer is no. Uh, we are requesting that it be upgraded to 16 gigs. One of the ways that um, we're able to approach the the smaller business market with this solution is by keeping the uh, the hardware infrastructure at a lower level. You'll notice that um, quite frequently, many of the other BDR solutions out there, uh, they they will have some higher price tags for the piece of hardware that you're you're uh, licensing out or uh, leasing out to your clients. Um, this is going to have just a single one-time upfront fee. Um, I will point out though, something that is really unique uh, and different about the current uh, scenario is that six bay unit, um, it has a hardware RAID control card built into it. So Buffalo um, in Japan about probably four and a half years ago now bought a uh, Windows hardware RAID uh, manufacturing and design company. So we've incorporated that technology into that six bay desktop version, which um, uh, certainly uh, yields to a uh, more smooth implementation of any kind of Windows operating system in a RAID environment. So, but uh, to answer directly again, it is something that we have asked for the ability to increase the RAID or the memory level. Um, at this point in time, it is set at eight gigs though. Okay. Uh, another question uh, specifically about the uh, the Buffalo Terror Station. Uh, what does the warranty look like on that? What does what does that cover? 
Yep. Um, so that's actually, I think, one of the areas that we shine, right? Um, it's not just our uh, our conjecture here. Uh, everybody always thinks that they do a good job. We have pretty good track record of um, excellent uh, performance in industry um, awards and recognition. We've won four years in a row. Uh, this Computer Reseller News' uh, annual report card survey for having the best support uh, in our small to mid-sized business storage networking category. So um, if you are uh, an end user, you're gonna receive the full three-year warranty. You can call our team in Texas 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you're an MSP and you're a registered partner with Buffalo, um, we're going to really go the extra mile. You'll definitely have a dedicated contact uh, within the organization that you'll you'll know names and, and faces and direct telephone numbers. But you're also going to have a different telephone number to call from the support perspective. So uh, you're not waiting in line when you call uh, in queue. And if uh, there is any, say, need for a hard drive replacement, uh, because they are spinning products, they will eventually at some point probably uh, have an issue. Um, one of those um, can be, well, however many actually can be replaced um, with a free advanced replacement uh, uh, just simply by signing up into our program. Okay, good. Uh, I guess something on the uh, Nova, Nova backup side, uh, what amount of cloud storage is included with the Buffalo uh, the, the Buffalo licenses? So there there isn't any free cloud storage uh, uh, included with the Buffalo licenses, but there is options to upgrade that and, and purchase whatever uh, Nova Backup cloud storage you'd want on that. Uh, if you want uh, pricing or help with that or or just have any questions on that, just let me know and uh, I can get you the inf any information for that. Yeah, and oh. here's a question that I'd like to introduce Gary Thomas, who's on the line. He's um, a sales engineer from Buffalo. Uh, we get this question frequently, and um, uh, it is uh, very uh, critical or essential to this solution. Uh, Gary, can maybe you address how many virtual instances can be supported simultaneously? Oh, sure thing, Bill. Uh, so the the this particular version of well, Windows Storage Server allows up to two uh, VMs at a, running at a time uh, in Hyper-V. So, uh, and again, this is not a, uh, you know, this is by no means a, a high performance machine. So probably running more than two would tax it a little bit too much anyway. Uh, but uh, the, the version of Hyper-V or Windows Storage Server that's installed in this does allow to two virtual machines to run. Right. And so, again, um, one of the ways we're able to provide a cost effective solution for the, the small business um, is is by working within the uh, structure of the Microsoft licensing agreement that we have. What's really unique, again, about this, though, or interesting, we spent quite a bit of time, more than a year and a half, surveying and asking uh, our MSP community how critical is it for your small business to have immediate or instantaneous uptime? Is it worth being able to, uh, or for them to be able to to pay uh, the, the full price of the other BDR services out there? Majority of the time, the answer was no. Um, and really, they just needed a spare tire to get them along until they could repair the other uh, primary issue. So you guys saw in a, in a live uh, demo right here, even over the net, uh, Nathan was able to spin up that other's instance. Uh, Nate, do you think probably three to five minutes, somewhere in that oh, range? Not, not even that, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's pretty quick, yeah. Yeah, so uh, there are solutions that do provide instantaneous support. Um, they just come with a higher price tag from, from other vendors. Uh, there, there are some very good products that are out there. Uh, we just feel that there's a, a need that's really unaddressed. And as I mentioned previously, it's just not prioritized by some of the other BDR uh, vendors out there. And we feel that we're able to address that at that price uh, point uh, for those small businesses. Here's another question. Uh, is there an option to include a VMware server in the environment? 
Uh, so I don't know if you mean for as a target for bringing up uh, that machine as a VMware server or actually backing it up. So I'll, I'll answer both questions on this case. So uh, with the Nova Backup Business Essentials product, there is an option to uh, back up uh, VM guests that are on licensed VMware ESXi or vCenter servers. So you can do that. Uh, as to running, uh, you know, taking that image and bringing it as a, uh, a BDR machine, um, our current image backup will only go to uh, VHD or VHDX or the pr proprietary format. I've done some some things where it will, uh, you could take it to a VHDX and then convert it to a VMDK and, and you can get that to work. It's not, it's just not that one step, step thing that uh, is immediate. So uh, could you do it? Yes. Is it better just to use like Hyper-V or something else that can use VHDX or VHD native? That's what I would, I would suggest, yeah. Uh, another interesting question. Um, so when I'm talking about some of the ransomware uh, uh, protections and, and that type of thing that we put into our software, one of the most common things that we're seeing with ransomware is it'll actually go out and uh, look for any open share or, and use any credentials that might be stored within Windows or stored within that it can get access to uh, to try to encrypt stuff over over the network shares or what have you. One of the things that we do um, in the Nova Backup software is you can actually put the credentials for that network share that you're going to be backing up to directly within our software. It's not stored in the Windows credential hive or anything like that. And uh, it'll actually connect every time a backup is done, it actually makes a connection to that network share with those credentials, doesn't store it locally on the Windows Credential Manager or anything like that. And then it will uh, open up that connection to that network share, write the backup data, and then that connection is closed. So if you set up your, your network share properly, so only Nova Backup can get to it and no other uh, you know normal credentials within the network can, can utilize that, can get to that, then you're going to have a fairly secure uh, network share from ransomware. Yep, it sounds like a, lo a lot of people are uh, uh, chiming in that that's what they're actually doing. Yep, perfect. All right. Well, that, that looks like uh, the majority of the questions that we've uh, went through and unless there's anything else from anyone that's uh, viewing here or if you've had anything else, Bill, um, yeah, well, we give everybody one last uh, chance here to ask any yeah. questions. I will point out that uh, for the reseller community, Buffalo has a not for resale program. If you would like to put your hands on this solution, test drive it yourself. Of course, we'll do everything remotely for you to uh, get you as comfortable as possible, but nothing is the same as uh, putting it in your own environment. Um, running it through the paces for, for uh, your own comfort level before you put it out in the market. We are very, very big proponents of you being extremely comfortable and knowledgeable of the product before you go and uh, deliver a solution to the end customer. So we're happy to invest uh, with you in, in that scenario. We do have an NFR program. If you'd like to reach out to us, um, we'll be happy to, to set something up through your preferred distributor. Hi couple more questions that uh, while you're talking so um, so yes that this uh, this demo that I've done is going to be on demand uh, we're going to send out links to it uh, uh, post uh, post webinar it'll probably be a few hours or maybe even till till tomorrow after they uh, they clean up uh, the webinar a little bit and post it on YouTube or what have you uh, but other other resources for what I've done today uh, there is a uh, knowledge base and uh, YouTube videos that here at Nova Backup we've posted that go through almost everything that I've done today. Uh, Buffalo also has a number of different uh, resources that clone or, or do a lot of the same things that I've done today on their uh, their knowledge base too. Um, 
another thing. Uh, has the solution been been tested for uh, database servers? So the cool thing is what we're utilizing uh, for doing this, uh, uh, the image and, and that type of thing, it, it is going to be use, utilizing the volume shadow copy service within Windows. So as long as the database uh, that you're, you might be running on that machine is VSS aware, it's going to be fine. Um, I've used SQL, you know, uh, SQL Server is just fine. Uh, many different uh, interesting uh, dental uh, EMR solutions have, have been worked, tested and worked just fine on this. Uh, typically, uh, unless it's a, a very, very high performance uh, machine that, uh, you know, uh, is doing something really strange, like if it's an Oracle server or something like that, you're probably not going to be be doing this with that. But for anything that's small business related, you're going to be fine on that. Um, so which Windows servers has this solution been tested on? So we do testing all the way back to 2008 to 2019. So that is our current uh, supported uh, solution all the way back to 2018, even though, or, I mean, 2008, even though Microsoft doesn't currently support 2008 anymore, we still support it. Um, we also support Windows 7 also, uh, and up to Windows 10. So that, that's, that's the currently supported uh, OSs for this product. Uh, another question, who do I talk to about setting up uh, uh, the central monitoring on Nova Backups Cloud and that type of thing. Um, honestly, just reach out to uh, to either me or any of the uh, the sales salespeople at Nova Store, and we can help you uh, get you into the MSP program and, and give you a demo and show you how everything like that would work. Okay, Bill, I think at this point. Uh, We've we've kind of exhausted their questions. So, unless you have anything else, no, I appreciate everybody's time. And again, uh, we aren't shy. We just uh, uh, want to be available for you. So please feel free to reach out after the webinar. Um, we're happy to again, like I said, test drive any of this stuff for you remotely, and then certainly work with you to to get something over for your own uh, in office testing before you put it out to the clients. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, along with that, one of the things that we do do here here at Nova Backup is even if you have questions about like a setup or a potential setup, you know, just reach out to us. We're we're more than happy to get on the horn and uh, you know talk it through and and see what you actually have going on. So, with that, uh, I I want to thank you uh, and thank you, Bill, for for uh, joining on the webinar. And then we can. Yeah, thanks, uh, Nate and Nova Store team, for uh, inviting us to talk to your your partners. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.